I, I absolutely love this state and love living here. And I, I love the fact that, you know, if, if you're not allergic to something in the, in the spring or in the summer or in the fall, Just wait. we always have mountain cedar season in the, in, in the uh, winter time. And I want to show you uh, the mountain cedar pollen count forecast. Today it was very high. Tomorrow it's going to be very high. And then as we head through Saturday, it's a little lower, but it's still high. And then as we head into uh, Sunday and Monday, it drops down into that low category. And the reason, look at the winds there. Friday out of the south, Saturday out of the east. You see how it's going down as the winds become out of the north. So let me talk for a couple of minutes here about mountain cedar and our mountain cedar season that we have here uh, in the state of Texas. So mountain cedar, it's, it's, a, it's a type of juniper tree. It's not actually a cedar tree at all, okay? And mountain cedar juniper is so potent because of the, the sheer amount of pollen released. I know, women, you're gonna love this. It's it, the problem, it's the male plant. So that's uh, the male plant releases all of this. Through early March, it turns brown and it just releases these clouds of pollen I mean, it's just crazy the amount of pollen that it releases. It's all down in hill country, okay? So it's uh, mainly across uh, the Texas hill country. And as we have that good southerly or southwesterly wind, it blows it all up into North Texas. So, I mean, it's pretty crazy. I mean, you can see it just piled up down in central Texas, down in the hill country, and then it all blows up here. 